In the long-term commitment to support interoperability in BIM workflows, Open Buildings Designer allows users to export uh, 3D information models to a variety of file formats. So in this tip, we are going to uh, export models to uh, uh, formats like FBX and OBJ and uh, how these models can be incorporated into um, Office documents such as Word and Excel or even PowerPoints. Okay, so let's take a look at how we can do that. So once you have the 3D model with you in Open Buildings Designer, select uh, File on the Backstage and choose the options for Export and choose the category which is Exchange File Types. And you notice here there is an option to export to FBX format. Uh, if you choose 3D modeling file types then you will also notice that there's an option to exchange it to formats like uh, OBJ. Uh, although you will also see other file formats like studio lith lithography. If you wanted to publish it for 3D printing, you, know, you can use that. So for this example, I'm going to uh, export this to FBX, although there are other formats available such as IFCs, 3D PDFs, and etc. Let's use the FBX format for this example. So click the FBX format and we choose the um, active units currently used in the file and if it is a very complex curve geometry we can set the tolerance level for how the geometry should be facetted in terms of meters and uh, specify the other settings for the export so i have chosen to invert a y and z uh, so that it's compatible with uh, word uh, so let's give it a try so hitting the export button is going to select all the elements in the current region file and it's going to export it to OBJ, uh, sorry, FBX format for us. Choose the specified location where you wanted to store your FBX output and hit the save button. So Open Buildings Designer now selects all the elements and exports the FBX format for us. So once the FBX output is complete, uh, which it is being done in real time now. So the export is complete. Now let's open up Word document and we can bring in the FBX format into Word. So switching to MS Word, Microsoft Office Word. So I have a title uh, cover page for a project which I'm working on, uh, which has my all the information about it. And instead of uh, putting together as putting a static image of the project, so I can even embed my 3D model into this uh, main page of the document, right? So let's see how we can do that. So we select insert and choose the option for 3D models. And we select the option called from a file. We browse the location where the FBX file was saved from Open Buildings. And we can select the file. And let's hit the insert button to get this model into a Word document. So you can see here the 3D model has been inserted into the Word document. Right? So additionally, we can increase the size and width, and we can also format it uh, the way we wanted to set it up, uh, like treating like an object or an image. And uh, we also have more options to uh, set the view. So you can see that the shadows are appearing already here. And when we select this model, we have the option to rotate them. So I'm using my mouse to rotate the model. So it presents users with a level of interactivity so that somebody wanted to explore the 3D model, really look at the content, what is in there. So we have the flexibility to play around within Word document. So instead of keeping it as a static image, so users will have the flexibility to set this up. And for advanced options, we can also choose the option called Format 3D Model. And then it gives all the options for setting up the rotation angle, camera angle, etc. And if needed, uh, we can also specify additional settings of the 3D model, such as uh, the rotation information, 3D format here. And in fact, we can also set some of the lighting parameters. So what kind of lighting we want warm lighting, cool lighting, or should be a neutral tone. So based on that, uh, you will see that model will update actually. So that's a warm and here's a cool one. Um, let's take a look at how we can use it in Excel as well. So launching Excel, 
uh, spreadsheet so i have a spreadsheet here that, uh, which is formatted for the project report and the same process so choose insert and we choose here from file we browse the location where the fbx file is available and we select the hit the insert button so notice here the 3d model is uh, uh, inserted in excel spreadsheets as well so other utilities uh, to adjust the models are the same and we can rotate the model and we can place it the way we want make it a bit more attractive So that's this tip all about exporting um, the 3D information model to FBX or OBJ. And you can really embed these 3D models inside uh, Microsoft Office documents, such as Word and Excel. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.